Happy New, New Year. Year! I'm Dave. I'm Greg. I'm James. And I'm Steve. And we, and we just, just gave it the beans. beans. Show, Show us, us your cat. cat. At Lake Lanier, Georgia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, and we're back with the first episode of Show Us Your Cat of 2020. Yeah, and uh, big thanks to James, Dave, Steve, and Greg for that powerful introduction from Lake Lanier in Georgia, USA, where the four of these guys got together and went and sent it, gave it the beans on New Year's Day in rather cold conditions. So thanks for that, guys. If anybody else wants to send something else in similar, then of course you are more than welcome. Just use the normal channels for doing so. So we're back with some more Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Before we get stuck in, Happy New Year. I think that's a good start. If you would like to show us your cat, it would be great if you would. At the end of the video, I'll give some more details on how you can do that. Otherwise, I think we should just get stuck in. So let's get stuck in and have a look at what we're looking at today in Show Us Your Cat. Okay, so diving straight in, we are heading to the Philippines to Anilayo Batangas in the Philippines, where we have Freddy. Freddie has got a KL 13.5. Uh, I've done some research into the KL brand and it is very difficult to find anything about KL boats because I think the company don't build boats anymore. But it's a French brand. Um, this particular model, the 13.5, uh, features about 10 square metres of sail area. It's excellent for one or two people and as you can see here, it's got a trapeze on there and there's some great trapezing style going on here. It's got a plastic skeg hull, so it's extremely durable. It will last forever. Um, one thing we would just suggest to Freddie here is do make sure that the sail is at the top of the mast before you head out and your performance will be enhanced. Racing against some much faster boats and uh, I hope you managed to keep up with those guys. So thanks very much Freddie for sending in those pictures of your KL 13.5. Next we're heading to Sweden uh, where we're going to Skaldaviken which is near a village called Vegby Strand. Good pronunciation I think you'll find there where we have Anders. Anders has got a 2011 Hobie 16. Um, this is featuring the sales, which were from Cagliari European Championships, which were in 2013. He bought this boat recently off Thomas and Pippi, who are very regular uh, visitors here at Wildwind, and they're very experienced Hobie 16 racers. So this boat came preloaded with race experience. Uh, it's a great looking 16. You're, I think you'll find it's in excellent condition and as sails mostly so solo and most of the time he sails in the summer, which I think if you're in Sweden, that seems pretty wise. So thanks very much, Anders, for sending in those pictures of that absolutely fantastic looking 16. Okay, next we're heading over to Italy. Now, I'm not entirely sure where we're going in Italy. Uh, so if you are sending in pictures, do let me know whereabouts you are uh, sailing your boat. Where we have, um, on this occasion, we've got Mario, who has a Hobie 16 with spinnaker uh, featuring the Laguna sails. These sails were used in the 2009 Europeans, which were on Lake Como in Italy. Mario has just got the boat, whether it is new or just new to him, I don't know, but Mario is certainly putting on a good display of flying the hull. Um, if you're not yet flying the hull on your catamaran, 
uh, give Mario a call or just hit the index of videos, check out the flying the hull video, and then you'll be flying a hull before you know it. But thanks very much, Mario, for sending in that picture and uh, good luck to you with your 16 in Italy. Keeping it in Europe, we're going to Senftenbergersee in Germany, where we have Paul. Paul has got a 2002 Hobie Tiger. It's a very nice looking tiger, very well maintained, especially when you do the maths and you realise this boat is actually 18 years old. She's going well. You can see that the mainsail has had a few repairs. Anybody who sails a boat like this will know that if you capsize and land in the mainsail, you will go straight through it, which are what these strange lines are on the sail where that's been repaired. So careful out there if you're sailing a boat like that and you're going to capsize. He's had a top speed out of the Tiger, 19 knots so far, but more to come, I believe, and we'll get that on the speed stick. Um, here is Paul sending it on the Tiger with great style. Uh, Paul generally sails the Tiger with his cousin Stefan. Stefan also has a 2009 Topcat K1. If you're not familiar with the Topcat brand, it's a German brand and they've got a whole range of catamarans, all of which featuring the Skeg hull, so they're very user-friendly. So thanks very much, Paul, for sending in those pictures and video of your Tiger and that Top Cat in Germany. So I think you'll agree that is a pretty good spread this week of the planet of catamaran sailors hitting the Philippines, Italy, Sweden, Germany. And if you count that intro from the USA as well, I think we've pretty much hit the four corners of the catamaran sailing world there. So as I said at the start, if you'd like to send in uh, video or photographs of your boat for a future episode of Show Us Your Cat, then please do. Um, that would be great. You could either email it to me directly if your email can cope with that size file. Otherwise, uh, we transfer uh, the address of that website is in the description below, seems to be working rather well for sending video and what they called photographs through. If you're going out specifically to photograph your boat, if you could just be sure to photograph it or video it in landscape rather than portrait, so wide rather than tall, because that way it just fills the screen better for the video. That's right. Um, so thanks to everybody who has been sending in uh, pictures of their boat for Show Us Your Cat. As usual, if you're still waiting for your boat to be featured, it will be. We just I'm just uh, featuring the boats in order of which they came in. So if you've just sent a picture of your boat in, then it will be a couple of weeks before it goes in an episode of Show Us Your Cat. There we are. What else at this time? Yes, the global speed stick. We haven't been seeing much action in the global speed stick, to be honest. There was only one crazy American who went out single-handed and put in a big single-handed 16-speed recently. Other than that, there hasn't really been much action on the speed stick. Um, so if you are going out sailing then do take a GPS with you and then send your results in. Um, the details of what to send in are in the description below. And then you could get on the global speed stick, give your sailing session another angle rather than just going out for a burn, go out for a burn with purpose. Now, that appeals to me quite a lot, I think. Excellent. So what else? Yeah, thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel through the many different means that you could support the channel through uh, Patreon. Um, if you visited the online store and bought a T-shirt or a flag. Yes, that's right. Flags are now available through the online store. So if you'd like a Joyrider flag, either a Giving It The Beans flag or a Tequila Sunrise flag, 
then uh, you could just order one through the online store and then I'll get it in the post to you. Lovely. That's what we'll do. Um, so there we go. Uh, you may have noticed I'm wearing a rather delightful Joyrider shopping bike T-shirt available in the store. You need one. If you enjoy shopping um, or a bike or if you're Dutch, you need one. So there we go. We'll be back next week with more beans induced. Show us your cat. So please keep everything coming in. If anybody's got any questions or specific videos they'd like making on Joyrider TV, then I think now's the time to start these requests coming in. And then as soon as I've got a boat on the water, I'll get out there with a couple of cameras and make some more tutorial videos. Otherwise, you can see a full index of all the videos that I've made in the description below will be the link to that index. So you can head over there. If you need anything for your boat or any sailing gear, then also in the description below is a link to my Amazon, what's it called? Affiliates page where I've dug out a lot of useful cat sailing stuff on Amazon so you don't have to do any looking. And if you buy it through the link that I supply, it means I get a little bit of a kickback, which is nice because everybody loves a little bit of a kickback. There we are. So there we go. We'll be back next week with more Show Us Your Cat. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Very important. That like button, uh, extremely important. And uh, if you're not yet subscribed, I should hit the subscribe button as well because you would hate to miss one of these episodes of Show Us Your Cat. I know it. Thanks very much.